everybody knows what the density formula is. The density formula is mass divided by volume. Now, the way that I was taught to remember it, it's DMV. Okay, like the Department of Motor Vehicles, where you go get your license. DMV, density equals mass divided by the volume. Now, we may need to uh, rearrange this equation based on what we're given and what we're asked for, or we may not. It just depends. So I've got a couple examples that I want to run through. Now, the thing that's going to make this difficult is that you know they love multi-step problems. Okay, they're going to ask you multi-step problems. They're not just going to come out and give you the mass and the volume and ask you for the density. You could have done that in middle school. Um, they're going to ask you to do a little bit more work, like with this first example. They tell you that a cylindrical, it's a cylinder, piece of wood has a diameter of 2 feet and a height of 5 feet, and it has a mass of 600 pounds. What is the density of the wood to the nearest pound per cubic foot? Use 3.14 pi. So, to find density, we got to know the mass. They give us the mass. Well, we've got to know the volume. They don't give us the volume, but they give us everything that we need to find the volume. Now, the way that I understand it, they don't give you very many formulas on the uh, final exam. So you kind of got to learn these. But the good thing about volume is most of the time, and if you look at your formula sheet, most of the time they express volume as big B times h where big b represents the area of the base so if we think about a cylinder that base is a circle so the area of the base is pi r squared and we're going to multiply that by the height so let's fill in what we know what's the radius one they give us a diameter of 2, so we need the radius. The radius is half of the diameter. So pi times 1 squared times the height of 5 feet. So that's just going to be 5 times pi, and they tell us to use 3.14. I do not like using 3.14 for pi. On the final exam, you will use the button on your calculator, but for whatever reason, they like for you to use this on here I guess because it um, gives <clears throat> smaller numbers instead of having decimals that go on for forever. Okay, we get 15.7. This is uh, cubic feet, feet cubed, just to throw the units in there while we're talking about them. Okay, so density equals the mass 600 divided by the volume is 15.7. Okay, that's the easy part, plugging those pieces in. You had to find the volume, but that was the difficult part. Okay, and they say to the nearest pound per cubic foot, so the density here, use red, the density is 38 pounds per foot cubed. Okay. Most of the time the units will be given to you. You don't have to worry about that, but I did want to uh, show you that the, those are the units for density. Nothing cancels, so you just have to leave it as the mass over the volume, pounds per cubic foot. Okay? All right, so as you're working on these problems, yes, I gave you this formula sheet for a reason, but you kind of got to be learning these uh, formulas as well. Okay, let's look at this problem. It says block A and block B have the same mass. They don't tell us what it is, but they just tell us that it's the same. But the density of block A is twice the density of block B. Identify the possible missing dimensions of block, uh, that should say block A. They're missing for block A. They give them to you for block B. But anyways, all right, so. Let's set this up. We know more stuff about block B, so let's see if we can set it up. After okay, so back to what I was saying. We know more about block B, so let's set up the formula for block B's density. Now, since I'm finding the density of two of these figures, 
instead of labeling it D for density, I'm going to label it B for the block. Okay, so um, that's its density. Okay, is equal to its mass. We don't know its mass. It just says that they have the same mass. So here's a strategy. If they don't tell you what the mass is, but they say that it's the same, just pick a number for the mass, okay? Just pick a number for the mass. Let's say, thank you, sir. Um, let's just say, I don't know, let's go with 500. Okay, let's just pick 500. Um, divided by the volume. How do we find the volume of that block right there? 800 times height. That one's an easy one. It's just a box. For a box, we multiply the length times the width times the height. So 5 times 6 is 30. 30 times 12 is 360. So let's go ahead and just work that out right there. Let's find out what we're saying that the density of block B is. So we're saying it's mm, 1.3, you know what, let me make that a fraction. 25 over 18, that's better. Okay, so let's go back to the problem. It says the density of block A is twice the density of block B. We just found the density of block B. So block A is twice that, so let's multiply it by 2. 25 over 9, these colors, 25 over 9 is the density for block A. We know its mass, technically, we made up one. Okay, its mass is 500. We don't know its volume. We're missing some dimensions of its volume. So let's find out what its total volume should be. What do you do when you have two fractions equal to each other? How can you solve that? Cross multiply. 25B is equal to 9 times 500. So 9 times 500 is 4,500 divided by 25. Its volume is supposed to be 108. We know one dimension. We know that it, one of the dimensions is 6. So it's 6 times the width times the height, or you know, however you want to label those. So what do we have left for our width times our height? We've got 30, because we divide by 6. We've got 30 units for our width times our height. So what are some possibilities there from our choices? What could we multiply together to get 30? 3 times 10. Okay, that could be 3, that could be 10. That's one possibility. 6 and 5 is another answer that we could use. Uh, that may be it. Yeah, I think that's it out of these choices. So you could either choose 10 and 3 or 6 and 5. Those would be valid choices. Okay, now I know this one was very multi-stepped. I realize that. Um, but the biggest thing I wanted to point out was if they give you a scenario like this, if they just say they have the same mass, but they don't tell you what it is, just make up a number and use it for both of them. That works. Okay, That works as long as that's not what they're asking you for. Okay? Um, that would not work. But if you need it to figure something else out, then just make up a number and make sure you use it consistently. Okay, let's look at two more examples. Flip the paper over. It says a certain type of metal has a density of 5 grams per cubic centimeter. A piece of this metal has a mass of 2 kilograms. What is the volume? Okay, so I encourage you anytime you get a problem like this, go ahead and set up your equation. Density equals mass divided by volume. Don't try and plug things in. Just write it out in general then plug in what you know. The density is 5, the mass is 2, the question is what is the volume? Okay, we've got to be careful when we solve this. 
What we're solving for is in the denominator. We've got to get it out of the denominator. So we need to multiply both sides by v. So we've got 5v is equal to 2. And then we turn around and we divide both sides by 5. So v is equal to 2 fifths. Just really say 2 fifths to the 10 meter. Okay. 2 fifths is 0.4 to the nearest cubic centimeter. Okay. Um, technically, we would round that down to zero, but that doesn't make any sense. <coughs> Maybe they. Mm. Just making sure I didn't do anything wrong here. Oh, not. Uh, I did do something. My units don't agree. Kilograms and grams. Kilograms and grams. I knew that was going to come up, and I wasn't even thinking about it. <coughs> okay. So, we need those to be in the same units. Kilograms versus grams. Anybody have a preference as to which one we convert? I would probably convert the kilograms to grams. Okay. How many grams are in a kilogram? Anybody can tell me? A thousand? Okay. A kilo is a thousand. So two kilograms is two thousand grams. Now, let's set up our problem again correctly. Five grams is equal to two thousand divided by the volume. So 5v is equal to 2,000. Then we divide by 5. 400. That makes a little bit more sense. <clears throat> okay. You've got to make sure that your units agree. So I did that on purpose. Okay. I really did that on purpose. Um, or I'm saying I did you have to, on these density problems, you have to make sure that your units agree before you start the problem. Because that's another thing. You, you probably thought, oh, well, this is an easy one. I just got to, you know, plug it in and solve for the variable. Okay, but you got to make sure that those units agree before you start the problem. Okay, make sure your units agree. <clears throat> okay. Let's look at the last problem I've got there. Carpenter has two types of wood in his workshop. He cuts a block of each type of wood. The block of type A has a volume of 60 cubic feet and a mass of 30 kilograms. Block B has a volume of 100 cubic feet and a mass of 600 kilograms. Before I go any further, based on the last problem I just did, I'm going to make sure that all my units agree. I've got cubic feet for both pieces of wood and I've got kilograms for both pieces of wood. So I'm good. Okay. So, which is a correct comparison of the densities of the wood? So, we need to calculate the density for both, uh, both types of wood. So, A, density equals mass, 300, divided by volume, 60. Be careful. They list the volume first. Be careful that you don't list that first in your equation. It's always mass divided by volume, regardless of which one they give you first. So that's uh, 5. Would B has a mass of 600 and a volume of 100. So that has a mass of 6. So let's see. B is more dense. The higher the number, the, the bigger the density. So. Answer choice A says type B is less dense. Well, nope. You definitely know it's not that one because it's not less dense. Um, B is more dense because the ratio of the mass to volume is lower. Well, that doesn't make sense. To be more dense, to have a lower ratio, that doesn't really make sense. Um, okay, hang on. Because the ratio of mass to volume is lower. Oh, we have another option here. 
would, uh, would a type A is less dense? A is less dense because the ratio of mass to volume is lower for type A. That would be the correct choice. A is less dense because its ratio